Hey guys and welcome to another Unity tutorial and in this one we're going to be covering how to use an Xbox 360 controller's input in Unity. And the first thing that we have to do is go to our input manager and we're going to duplicate the last element and start with the right stick because the left stick is already covered by the horizontal and vertical axes as the X and Y axes. So in here I'm going to change this name to x360 underscore R stick X. I'm going to delete the positive buttons. I'm going to set the gravity to 0, the dead to 0 0.2, and the sensitivity to just 1. And I'm going to set this axis to the fourth axis. Now I'm going to make sure everything is properly set, and this should be a joystick axis. And we're getting movement from all joysticks. So we're going to duplicate this, and we're going to set this one to be the Y axis which will mean that it needs to be the fifth axis here and the rest of the settings should stay the same so that's all we have to do for that stick and we're gonna move on to the d-pad now so we're gonna do x360 underscore d-pad x and this one is gonna be the sixth axis there we go and this will be the y one and it will be the seventh axis now the triggers are a little bit different so we're going to do x360 underscore triggers and this only works for windows but we're going to be um, setting it to the third axis and the left trigger is going to be 0 to 1 or, zero, or negative 1 to 0 excuse me and the right trigger should be 1 to 0 uh, I believe if you invert it otherwise it's the other way around so in the dead I'm going to set this to 0.1 because the triggers are supposed to be more firm than the sticks and that's all I had to do for that one to cover both of the back triggers on the controller so I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this and this next one it, we're gonna do the bumpers next and these are gonna be buttons of course so left bumper bumper <laughs> bumper and I'm going to set the gravity to 0, dead to 1, and sensitivity to 1000. And this needs to be a key or mouse button. And it's going to be button... Uh, which button is it? 4, I believe. Oh, actually, we don't need to set that through there. We have to set it through the positive button, and we have to type in joystick button. And I believe it's 4. Yep. Okay, so I'll duplicate that. This will be the right bumper. And we're going to set this to joystick button 5. And now we can do all the letters. So we'll start with A, which is joystick button 0. And I'll duplicate that a couple times. So this one will be B, which is joystick button 1, of course. And we're going to go up to 3 with X and Y. So 2. Oops. Uh, hopefully I typed them in the right place. Yep. And for Y, we're going to go to 3. Okay, and now we're just going to move on to the back and start buttons. So, X360 underscore back. And that is joystick button 6. I'll duplicate that. And we'll get, um, this should be start, which is joystick button 7. And the last two are going to be the uh, clicking down both of the joysticks on the Xbox controller. So this one's going to be left stick click. And that is joystick button 8. And duplicate that. And we'll go right stick click. And we'll set that to 9. And that's all we have to do for our input manager. And so now I'm going to go ahead and write a basic script so we can test all of this in our scripts folder. And I'll create a new C-sharp script and this will be called player controller. And I'll open that up in Visual Studio and I'm pulling it over here. Now actually before I do that I'm going to go to the player and make sure I actually attach this player controller. And now we should be fine. So in our start function, I'm going to get our rigid body. So first I'm going to actually set some variables here. So the float speed, 
going to be 18. And we're going to have a turn speed, public float turn speed equals 60. Oops, 60. I forgot the semicolon here. And now we're going to make a private rigid body. Rig. Oops. Went to the solution explorer. <laughs> Not what I wanted to do. And in here we're going to do rig equals get component rigid body. Okay, and now in our update function, uh, we're going to do all the logic here. So we're going to get the horizontal axis, which is just going to be, like we said before, get axis horizontal. And the vertical axis is going to be input dot get axis um, vertical of course vertical and hopefully I didn't spell those wrong yep and I'm going to get the right stick as well so that we can rotate our character input dot get axis x three sixty underscore r stick X and this stick is supposed to be capital. And, go to the end. and then we're going to make a vector 3 movement. Movement equals transform, uh, transform direction of a new vector 3 using the horizontal axis. Nothing on the Y because we don't want to move upward. And the vertical axis. So uh, actually we're going to multiply this by speed and multiply that by the time dot delta time so we get so much speed per second. And now we're going to do, um, we're going to use the rig.movePosition rig function here and it's going to be transform.position plus the movement so we add on movement. And we're going to get the quaternion rotation equals quaternion.euler of a new vector 3, 0, and right stick x, and 0. We're going to multiply this by the turn speed times time dot delta time, and finish that off. And did I do this correctly? Oh, actually, this should be turn speed times Oh, I put this in the wrong place, actually. That should stay the same. Okay, so now we want to transform.rotate um, new vector 3, 0, r stick x, and 0, and turn speed times time.delta time. And turns out I don't need this at all so that's my bad but we should be able to test this now and our character should properly move if we did everything right using the Xbox controller so using my stick he's moving forward and backward depending on where he's facing and that's working properly so now if we want to test all the other inputs that I haven't used uh, I'm gonna go ahead and copy paste um, some test values in. So I'm gonna pull this over here and copy over all of these tests to make sure that our controller is working. So I'll put them in here. And so this should hopefully cover everything and has a check for all the buttons. So we're gonna use get button down for all the button presses. And for the triggers, we're just going to check if they're not equal to zero, then we're going to print their value. So let me save this and pull this over here. And go ahead and hit play here. So if I hit the A button, we can see down here it's listed. So if we open up the console to make it easier, uh, I'll hit B, Y, X. And if I hold down the right trigger, it's going negative. And if I hold down the left trigger, it's going positive. Now, um, the wiki actually says that's going to be opposite, so I'm not sure if the wiki just has incorrect information or if something's wrong with uh, my controller specifically. Um, 
but an easy way to fix that is just by selecting the invert button in the input manager. Okay, so if I test my left stick clicking, it says click left stick. If I click my right one, yep. D-pad right, D-pad left, D-pad up, and D-pad down. And start and select, and left bumper and right bumper. So every button seems to be working, and that's all we're going to be doing in this one. But thanks for watching, and make sure to hit the like button if this helped you, and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this, and thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.